This is the time for the epic showdown. Mark Zuckerberg versus Sam Altman. No, no, I'm not talking about any controversy, but this time it's WhatsApp AI versus Chat GPT. We are going to do a face off between WhatsApp AI and Chat GPT. So, in this video, we are going to take a look at several challenges that I'm going to put forward and a competition between Chat GPT and WhatsApp AI in many different scenarios. So, let's see who is the best. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So just to have a fair competition, in the first few rounds, I'm not going to use ChatGPT 4. Instead, I'm going to use the free version ChatGPT 3.5. And I'm not going to use any custom bots which is provided in ChatGPT. So yeah, let's begin with the basic food recipe. So I'm gonna ask, hey GPT, can you give me the recipe of the world's best grilled cheese sandwich so yeah it was pretty fast in just three seconds it gave me the entire recipe now it's time for whatsapp ai so now i'm going to ask the same question from whatsapp ai As you can see, it took more time than GPT, but the best part here is it has also provided you with a link. So let's click on the link and let's see what is it. So yeah, this is the link that I got, which has the entire picture, all the quick methods and everything. So yeah, in the first round, I believe WhatsApp AI is the winner because not only it gave me the recipe, but also a source or the article of that particular recipe. So yeah, that's one for WhatsApp AI and zero for ChatGPT. Now in the second round, let's take the difficulty to a new level. In this part, I'm going to ask both ChatGPT and Meta AI to write a article on a topic. Let's see which article is the best. So yeah, as you can see, it generated an article just under five seconds with a title and all the pointers and everything is there. Though we have to keep in mind, I have just given it a simple instruction. There are no prompts, no purpose. It's just a basic prompt. And I would like to clarify because most of you guys will think that you are just giving it a basic description. You should write more prompts. Tell GPT how you have to act. Think like a writer or a content writer with uh, this much experience. But I just wanted to keep a fair and a basic fight just to understand what are the things that both of the AIs are capable to do. So yeah. This was an article which is generated by ChatGPT. Moreover, we are going to take a look at the word count and whether this article is flagged as AI content or not. So let's move to the WhatsApp AI. So now it's time for Meta AI. So I'm going to give the exact same instructions to Meta AI. It also took roughly six to seven seconds. As we can see, there are subheadings. There is a title, an introduction, which is quite similar to ChatGPT. Now we are going to take the test to another level and let's see the word count, whether this content is flagged as an AI or not. So let's check it out. I'm going to paste the article written by WhatsApp AI or Meta AI. So as you can see, the total word count is 377, characters is 2815, 21 sentences, 15 paragraphs. Reading level a college graduate, reading time 1 minute 22 seconds, speaking time 2 minutes and 5 seconds. And the keyword density is also pretty good. So now let's check out for chat GPT. So here we can see the total word count is 562, characters is 4454, 25 sentences, 18 paragraph, reading level college graduate, reading time 2 minutes, 2 seconds and 3 minutes, 7 seconds. On the basis of word count, definitely chat GPT is a clear winner. But, 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 there is one more criteria that we need to check. Whether the article written by Meta and chat GPT are flagged as AI content or not. So let's check it out. So here I'm going to paste the article written by ChatGPT first and let's see what are the results. So I'm going to paste it and I'm going to check. And yeah, this is what we have expected. The entire article is flagged as AI content. So we are going to remove this and now we are going to paste the article written by WhatsApp AI. So will there be any difference? Let's see. And yeah. 
this is also flagged as a AI content. So talking about the round two, I believe like ChatGPT did a great job because the overall word count was better than meta. So you can just take your time, pause the video and read the article and just tell us down in the comment section what you feel, which AI did the better job. So with that note, we are moving to round three. So now we are heading to the third and one of my favorite rounds. So this round will take place in two stages. We are going to generate some images. So the first image will be very basic with very simple prompt, but the other image will be a bit complex prompt. So we are going to use ChatGPT4 in this case and DALI will be something that we'll be using. And Meta itself has its own generative AI. So let's keep it a fair fight. One thing also to note here is ChatGPT also offers many other image generation tools, but we are going to stick with the default. So yeah, I have given it a very basic prompt. Hey Dali, create a sunset view where we can see the ocean and the mountains. Let's see what image it generates. So yeah, it roughly took 15 seconds and here's the image of a sunset view featuring the ocean and the mountains. So if we take a closer look at this, yeah, it looks quite animated, but at the same time, the view is very good. We can see the sunset, the ocean waves and the mountains in the background. To be honest, this is something that I would love to keep as a phone wallpaper. So now let's give the exact same prompt to Meta AI. So here we go. As compared to ChatGPT, it took very less time at around six seconds. And this image is also very good. And I find it more realistic as compared to ChatGPT4. But yeah, you can see there is also a watermark on it, but at the same time, the overall image quality, the attention to details, we can see the mountains and the sunset view, the orange sky and the ocean waves. For me, it looks real as compared to ChatGPT. So what are your thoughts? Do tell us down in the comment section. So I think Meta got the first round. So now it's time for the round two, where we are going to give it more complex prompt. Now this time I've given it a prompt. Hey Dali. Please create a realistic photographic image of New York City that depicts a crowded scene of people on their daily commute to work. It is important that the facial expression of the people in the image reflects the tense and stressful environment of a busy morning rush hour. So yeah, it is quite complex prompt because in this case, it has to create a complete background of New York City with the mass people. So let's see what image it generates and how long it takes to generate. It took around 16 seconds to create this video and we can see a mass crowd on a footpath and the overall image of New York City. You can see the taxi and the people are there. But if you look closely, you'll find some deformation on the faces of the people. So the people standing in the front too are not looking that stressed and at the same time, the overall facial structure is deformed. Well, if you go back, you can see some really disturbing images. This was the response of chat GPT. So now let's give the exact same prompt to WhatsApp AI. It's time for Meta AI. Here we go. Well, 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 look what we got here. So I cannot confirm whether it is the picture from New York City or not. At the same time, the overall quality or the facial expressions are much more real as compared to chat GPT. Of course, we can see some deformities if we go back in the background, but at the same time, it's not that visible. Obviously, we can see the stress on the faces of the people and I cannot see the complete background, whether it is from New York City or not. But at the same time, we can confirm that people are going somewhere. So if we talk about the overall image quality, obviously Meta AI has done a great job as compared to chat GPT. But yeah, we also have to keep in mind that there were some extra instructions also that the image should be of New York City and I cannot confirm whether this background is of New York City or not. So when it comes to the attention to details, ChatGPT did a great job. So if I have to choose between Meta or ChatGPT, so in this case, in the round two of third round, I'm going to go with ChatGPT. So till now, it's a neck to neck competition. Like both of the AIs are doing a great job. So it's time for the fourth and the final round where we are going to test their coding capabilities. So here we are on lead code. So we are going to solve an easy problem, like convert the temperature. So the description is given here. All I'll do, I'll just copy this description. I'm going to paste it on chat GPT and meta AI. 
and let's see who writes the perfect code. Now I'm going to move to ChatGPT. As you can see, I'm using ChatGPT 3.5. I'm using no other programming chatbots. So let's just keep it for the default. So I'm going to paste the problem statement and I'll write, write it in job. And as you can see, it has already started the programming and the code is ready. So all I'll do, I'll copy the code. I'll go back here and I'm going to paste the code and let's see. So we are going to run the code. And yeah, we got a compiler error. So let's see if ChatGPT can fix it. So I'm going to copy this problem. I'm going to go back. I'm going to put it here and just press enter. Let's see. So my apologies for the confusion. It seems I mistakenly named the class temperature converter as solution. Let's fix that. So yeah, I think it has fixed the code and let's test it. So yeah, I'm going to paste it and I'm going to hit the run button and let's see. As you can see, the corrected results is accepted. The case one and case two. So now it's time for WhatsApp AI to do its magic. So let's go on our screen and let's give WhatsApp AI the instructions. So now I'm going to copy paste the instruction which I gave to chat GPT and let's see what result it gets. So yeah, the overall interface is not that great because there we can directly copy the code, but here we have to just select it. So yeah, as you can see, the code written by chat GPT is quite big. And now we are going to paste the code written by Meta AI. And yeah, we are going to hit the run button. And yeah, it got accepted. So if we press on submit, so it beats 51.92% of the users with Java. But let's see, is it the same case with ChatGPT or not? So now I'm going to paste the same code written by ChatGPT. And let's run it. And it is also accepted. Now if I'm going to press the submit button. So interestingly, we can see that the code which is written by ChatGPT is only able to be 35.82% of the users as compared to the code written by Meta. This is surprising because Meta's code is more accurate if we keep the time and space complexity in mind. So runtime is 0 milliseconds beats 100% of the users with Java and here also but the memory consumption. If we take a look at that. So this time Meta beats chat GPT. Yeah, this is really amazing. And I'm quite shocked to say, but in my opinion, I think Meta AI is the winner. This was a very fierce competition where we have tested these two AIs in four criteria. So now let's do a miscellaneous competition. Let's try to have some fun. So now talking about the miscellaneous round. Well, I'm going to ask chat GPT a simple question and let's see. What's the answer? So all I'm going to do, ask, I want a day off from my job. What excuse can I give to my boss? So let's see what ChatGPT says. So yeah, it just wrote me an email. Like while it's generally best to be honest with your boss, if you need a day off for a personal reason, it's okay to keep the details private. Here is a plausible excuse you can use. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to reach out to you to let you know that I won't need to take a day off tomorrow. I've been dealing with some unexpected personal matters that required my immediate attention. And I believe taking a day to address them will ensure that I can return to work refreshed and focused. I'll make sure to handle an urgent task before I leave and provide any necessary updates. Please let me know if there is anything specific you need during my absence. Thank you. Your regards, Julie. So yeah, Chad GPT just wrote me an email. So let's see what will be the response of Meta AI. So yeah, I'm going to give the instructions to Meta AI. Let's see the response. Okay, so it has given me many different reasons. A day off is always welcome. Here are some excuses you could use, but remember to be honest and responsible. Family emergency, personal appointments, illness, doctor appointment, family event, mental health day, car trouble, home emergency. Remember to be respectful and considerate while requesting a day off and try to give your boss enough notice as possible. Good luck. And if you want to be more creative and you could say something like, I have come down with a rare case of I need a day off it is. And the only cure is a day of relaxation and self-care. So yet again, I believe 
a meta AI took an edge with all the humor and at the same time being respectful and considerate towards your profession and your boss. So what is your reaction on the showdown? Do tell us down in the comment section below. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey Meta, can you please play some funny cat videos?